We also have to change the exhaust manifold here because the port underneath does not match the American car uh, engine design. It bolts up here fine. It's just uh, this has dual port exhaust and uh, the American one is, goes just into one. This does not have uh, an O2 sensor connection point either so there's no hole for that so take this off get a new gasket and then put on uh, your old manifold from the engine you're taking out a few of the other things you're gonna need to change whoops sorry are the uh, set there's five sensors you have to change on your transmission I believe four or five um, the first one is right here just below the uh, upper radiator hose where it goes into the cylinder head there next to the exhaust manifold. This is your lockup solenoid and uh, you'll need to change that out. Um, you'll also need to change out the other two. This is shift solenoid B which is black down here and then underneath that is shift, uh, shift solenoid C which is the brown connection. Those have to change. You also have to change out this linear clutch solenoid. Um, it's a dual solenoid, and that has to be changed out. Um, I'll show you all these on my bench here in just a second because I've actually taken them out and tested them. You also have to change this, which is your main shaft speed sensor, to your new engine. Um, take this. All these have to come off, and the ones from your old engine have to go on. And I'm, also have to change this clutch, I think this is the third clutch switch, I forget. Anyway, you have to change that sensor there, or switch. And then around the top, back over here on this side, you'll have to change this, which is your counter shaft speed sensor. Um, I think I've got all the names of those in the right spots, but you can double check. Anyway, um, you'll have to change that out as well. So, and then up on the very top, I mentioned earlier, I am going to take out my uh, VTEC solenoid, which is right here. I'm going to change that out. Um, and all of these sensors and these solenoids, I ordered new gasket sets from Honda. They range from 10 to 25 bucks, depending on which one. But So the VTEC has a solenoid kit. The... Uh, Lockup solenoid has a gasket set, um, and this one has a gasket and three O-rings. I'll show you in a minute. So that is a good thing to change those out because um, they're not very much, but that way they don't leak. Mine also, I need to change out this throttle cable. It's just a single. My car has, uh, because it's an EX, it has uh, cruise control, so it has a dual spring-loaded throttle cable system which I'll just swap out they're easy to unhook you just pull this forward and this little guy cable guy comes out after you get the tension off of it so not too bad um, and then I'm gonna have to change on the back of this speed sensor or uh, not a speed sensor this is the um, I think this is the mass airflow sensor um, that got broken off when they took it out because this is like really close to the firewall and I think they broke it off. Well, I know they broke it off because the rest of it's in here. So I got a new one of those. And then this is your throttle position sensor. I think that all stays, this stays. So new hoses, radiator fluid hoses on the back. So, and then they let, they cut off, they cut off the uh, CV axles. So you'll have to take these out pry them down here and just give it a nice pop and they pop right out and you got to take the cable way down there in the bottom you can see the cable shift cable and you can do that before you take it out because you won't be able to get it out without that there's this the uh my old uh radiator I took out it doesn't leak so i'll just put it back in and then uh over here i've got a new catalytic converter that i'm putting in i did have a code glock before i Started doing this that said my oh my uh, catalytic converter was beyond its life. I'm sure with this 270 almost 280,000 miles on it. So I got a new MagnaFlow uh, in the 
box there, a MagnaFlow uh, catalytic converter. And uh, this is the uh, exhaust pipe that I took off. That part up there is where it cooks on to the bottom of your um, exhaust manifold that I took off. So I got new gaskets. I also spent an extra 125 or 30 bucks to get two new oxygen sensors. One goes in your, this one is for the exhaust manifold. It's like 50 bucks, 60 bucks for a Bosch. And then it's like 75, 80 bucks for the one that goes inside the catalytic converter right here. See that on this end um, on the driver's side because they both look pretty bad. So I just decided, I didn't get a code for it. I just decided to put new ones in because I don't want to have to hassle with it later. So, because it was a major pain getting that sucker out of there. Um, anyway, on to, uh, there's the air box and the snorkel and the uh, battery and battery tray. Along with the uh, reservoir fluid radiator uh, backup reservoir, I guess is what that's called, or something like that. So, um, you will need, by the way, a 36 millimeter... Uh, socket to take off the uh, axle nut off of uh, the car right here and it has a little dimple in it that you need to take a punch and punch it up so you can get it off and then when you're done you punch it back down or they tell you they recommend you buy new ones of these each time you take off the CV axles but if you didn't, you still either way, you still need to punch that thing down. There's a little groove, a little knockout on the actual um, CV axle. On to the solenoids. Um, so these are the solenoids, the way they're set up in the car. I've cleaned them and tested them to make sure they work. So I'm relieved to know that they do work. Um, so this is the lockup solenoid. And it has a gasket set with two screens. And mine, some people I've heard having transmission problems is check these because sometimes the screens can get clogged up. But mine were actually clean, even though I was having some shift problems in first and second. I think this car just got too many miles on it. So this is shift solenoid B, shift solenoid C, and this is the linear clutch solenoid. It's got two, like the uh, this one over here. Um, it's got a gasket on the bottom and, oh, it also has three cylinders that fit into the unit and it has, as you can tell, they have screens on the ends that you can clean out if some people are lucky you can clean these out and their transmission works a lot better, but mine not so much. So it's got a O-ring. Um, you can get those from Honda along with the uh, gasket. So. These are like two bucks a piece for the O-rings and this gasket's like 10 or 15 bucks. This gasket was more like 23 bucks for this one because it's got the two screens on it. And then these looked okay, so I'm not gonna do anything with those. I'm just gonna put those back in. I did test these and what, put that back in there, is uh, what you do is you check the ohms on this. This is supposed to, I believe, if I remember right, all I know this one has to ohm out between 12 and 25 ohms. And mine tested as 16, 15 or 16, so that was fine. These did as well. I think they're the same, 25, uh, 12 to 25, but you can check to make sure. And then you do a um, terminal one and terminal two um, click test with the battery by applying power to it and grounding this thing out. And uh, if it clicks. And you get the good ohms, you're good to go, supposedly. So I'm gonna these all checked out okay. Now this one's different. This one ohms out at approximately five is what you have to look for on this one. And then you check the terminal one, uh, terminal two uh, connection to make sure it clicks as well. So anyway, so hopefully uh, mine all checked out. I haven't taken the VTEC cylinder off yet. I'll take that off and check it too. But um, for right now, these uh, four major uh, solenoids on the transmission seem to be okay. We'll soon find out after I put them in because these are very expensive. Um, if you get this from Honda, it's like 400 bucks. This one's like 300 and these are like 125 a piece. I think you can go to your local auto parts store and get some non-Honda ones that 
this is still like 300, 275 and 100 or something like that. So anyway, you definitely want to check to make sure they're good before you go out and spend three, 400 bucks on something like that. So, okay, there you have it. More later.